Do you mind? Not at all. Ah, for the love of God, Doctor. A cigar in this tight space. You of all people, a doctor. It doesn't bother me. I like the way they smell. In fact, I think you should let me light it for you. Perhaps it doesn't bother her, but it bothers me. A doctor should set an example. Did you know that all the great healers smoke cigars or pipes? I had imagined that you were something more than a healer. I had thought of you as a man of science. Dr. Healer, it's all the same. The cigar smoke is like incense. It cleans the air. Ah, what a ridiculous comparison. <laughs> incense purifies. This poisons. Well, then maybe you could tell us a bit more about Brazil. Well, it's as if there were many countries all in one. You and your wife are going to the most backward region where everything is yet to be done. As I said, it's very hot and the people are rather lazy. Although I ask myself if they're not wiser than we are with our foolish progress, our petty ambitions that have once again brought us to the brink of terrible war. Brink? We are already at war. You really think so, Captain? War has not been declared yet. Consequently, there's still hope. Really, Father, a little smoke to clear your head. Oh. <laughs> I say there is hope, but I can see the dark clouds that cover our poor Europe. You two make a beautiful couple, and you are going to live in an oasis of peace. Remember, Frank, and you too, Donna, that millions will live in a world filled with hatred death and destruction. Remember that every time you feel superior to those poor peace-loving natives. Peace-loving? They are savages, capable of stabbing each other for nothing. Oh, Captain, people everywhere kill each other. For women, money, politica, not necessary in that order. Gentlemen, enough of wars, death, stabbings. I propose a toast to the lady who has brought light to our journey. To Belladonna. Belladonna, a plant both beautiful and dangerous. Belladonna. Belladonna.